Hello everyone. So today we will be solving Majestic to Square and this is the lead code 15 day 15 of lead code June challenge and the question goes like this. You are given an integer array Majestics where Majestics of i is the length of ith Majestic. You want to use all the Majestics to make one square. You should not break any stick but you can link them up and each Majestic must be used exactly once. So return true if you can make this square and false otherwise. So if we see example 1, here it is given that we are given an array 1 1 and 2 2 2. So it is given like you can use 3 matchsticks of length 2 and join them like this pictorially shown in example 1 and you can use 2 uh, matchsticks of length 1 uh, and then link them up. So it will return us in a square. So we can return true, it will give us an square. Now, for example 2, we have 3 matchsticks of length 3 and 1 matchsticks of length 4. So here in this case it is not possible to make any square from all these matchsticks and hence we will result in a false. So let's see and how we can uh, come up with the approach to solve this. So one thing which is pretty obvious here is that the sum of all these elements of all these lengths should be divisible by 4 which means all the elements in the matchsticks array should be divisible by 4. The sum of all them should be divisible by 4 because it is a necessary condition to make a square. Now second thing we can see that matchstick is an array and we need to divide them into 4 halves and every matchstick can belong to any side or any half. So we don't actually know that uh, which side the stick will belong to. So we have to try out the every possible solution and we can recursively do that. So uh, it is a question of recursively trying to fit every stick in the every side and then find out whether it is a possible or not. So what we will do is that we will try to code out in a DF DFS uh, style. So what we will do is that first of all we will find the sum. So uh, before even before that if our matchsticks uh, dot size is 0 so we know it is not possible so it's straightforward return false other than that define a sum and for all the elements so let's name it to nums it's difficult to write matchsticks every time yeah so let's also make it nums yeah int i equals to 0 i less than nums and i plus plus what we can do is we can make sum plus equals to nums of i now we got the sum so we will see if this sum is not divisible by 4 sum divided by 4 is not equals to uh, okay though we don't need to check even that we can do it on the later stage so now we want to do that we want to define a vector size so a vector size will be a vector of four uh, uh, four indices and at every indices we will store the length so let's say side or sides to be good and let's say it is four of length and now we will write a helper function so make square helper and so we will pass nums and we will pass a uh, position at which we are and we will now say bool helper uh, so it will be a vector of integer ampersand nums and in position so what we will do is that we will say our recurrence so for all the um, for all the side we will add uh, for all the sides we will add this nums of pause to the side and try to find out whether this gives us a square or not so for i equals to 0 and i less than 4 i plus plus what i will do is that i will add side of i plus equals to the nums of pause so i will add this stick to this side and try to find out whether it is possible to make a square if we do this thing so we will say 
nums nums of pos uh, plus one and so I think I missed side here so let's also def pass sides here so sides here and it will be a vector of integer ampersand sides here also we need to make it side and let's pass it side also and uh, if this returns me a true this means it was possible so we'll return true from here and otherwise I will decrement side of i minus equals to nums of pause and try to add it in the other side of this array so we are trying to add this in pause every side of the array and trying to check whether it is possible for adding this pause element into a side and making a square so if it not then we will return false so let's check the base case once our uh, if our this position becomes nums dot size then we will have to return whether the all sides are equal or not so if all sides are equal then we know that uh, it is a square otherwise it is not so let's see uh, so we need to say sides of 0 should be equal to sides of 1 and uh, similarly for we have to check this for all the sides so here sides of 2 should be equal to 3 and here sides of 1 should be equal to 2 so if this all conditions satisfy it will return true otherwise it will return a false so uh, here also it is not false 0 and let's try to run it nums okay it's nums dot size and also we need to return it yeah so it is giving us a true and for well, let's say this test case let's check this it is not possible so I tried custom test case here and let's check this false okay let's try to submit it okay so it gives us a TLE uh, that means we need to optimize our code and we need to think of some optimization we can do in this code so uh, what I will advise is give yourself some time and try to figure out what optimization we can do here and you can continue watching video from there itself. So the optimization first which I can see is that so as we discussed that the sum should be divisible by 4. So the uh, maximum so the uh, like maximum sum for each side can be sum by 4. So we can prune and we can say we can try to say that if the sides plus num of pause is at any time greater than sum divided by 4 then we know then we do not need to like bother and we do not need to calculate this because it won't result in a good answer. So what I can say is that I will pass a target here. So target would be our sum by 4. So let's define target here. Uh, int target and uh, here also we need to pass target so what I am saying is that we can check here if our sum so, uh, sorry if our uh, sides of i plus nums of pause at any time it is if it is greater than target that it would not yield us in a good answer so what we can say that we can continue from here and other thing is that uh, what we can do is that we can check if previously we have checked for this side we will not check for this side again so what we can do here is that uh, so after this pruning step so this is pruning
and we can here check that and not repeat the same side so let's check that so uh, we need to check we are not visiting a side of length which was already visited and it doesn't result in a true answer so what we will do is that we'll say in j equals to i and while uh, minus minus j is uh, greater than equal to zero what we can do is that so if this side of i uh, was already uh, visited which means it was already equal to some side j previously so we will say we can break from here and here we can say if j is uh, not equals to minus 1 then we can continue because we don't want to uh, visit this side again so this was one more optimization we could have done so it was second optimization we did and this was the first step give yourselves of time and try to figure out now one optimization i will do here is that i will sort the uh, nums array uh, in descending order so now figure out by your own why i am doing this and just try to make sense out of it uh, if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section so what i will do is that i will sort it nums dot begin and nums dot end and greater than so i have sorted this array into a greater than size so now let's try to run this code and see if there is any other error uh, what is this about okay so okay it's inside not it not side it sides okay my bad so now let's run this code yeah it is working so now let's test for this test case and So it is working this time. So I will submit this code. Yeah, now this got accepted. So try to figure out guys what did I did and what optimization I did. I did three optimization. So figure out of your own what I did. And if you don't understand this sorting, ask me in the comment section. Thank you everyone.